Hey everyone, welcome back. In this quick guide I'll show you how to set up Eden emulator, and also how to get other Switch emulators ready on your Android device. I'll break it down step by step so it's easy to follow. Let's get started. Step 1. Make sure your device meets the recommended requirements. A Snapdragon 870, 888, or 8 Gen 1 processor or higher is best, with at least 8 to 12 GB RAM and fast storage for stable performance. At least 128 GB of storage is advised, using fast UFS 3.1 or better. For graphics, an Adreno 660 or newer is ideal. Make sure you're on Android 12 or higher, with updated drivers. And finally, using a gaming phone with strong cooling is the best way to enjoy long, stable play sessions. Step 2. Install the emulators. For Eden, use the official Play Store build or the project's release page. For other emulators like Sudachi, download the official community build from its trusted source like GitHub. Step 3. Pick the right build. Use the optimized or newer builds for modern phones and the legacy build if you need wider device compatibility. Step 4. To run Eden requires product keys version 19.0, 1 and firmware version 19.0, 1. These files are necessary for compatibility, however, due to strict YouTube policy, I cannot provide direct download links. If you're wondering where to get them, you can search online using Google. I truly ask for your understanding, as sharing them here may risk the channel. Or you can DM me in my Telegram group you can check the link on the description for more info. Step 5. Once you've placed the product keys and firmware in the correct folder, add your game directory by creating a new folder rename it anything you want. Eden supports two formats only, NSP and XCI game files. Make sure your games are in these formats for proper loading, and you're good to go. Note, this video is for educational purposes only, please support the developers by purchasing original games. Now let's move on to the settings of Eden Emulator. If you've been playing on other emulators and want to continue your progress in Eden, you can easily import your save files here. Just make sure you've converted them into a zip file before importing, so the emulator can read them properly. Keep in mind, though, that not all save files are 100% compatible across emulators. Some might work right away, while others may need extra tweaking. So always double check your files and back them up before making any changes. Now let's talk about the GPU driver manager in Eden emulator. This feature lets you switch between different GPU drivers to get better performance and fix graphics glitches in certain games. By default, Eden will use the stock driver from your phone, but sometimes that's not the most optimized option. Many users prefer custom drivers like Mr. Purple or Turnip drivers, which can improve frame rates and fix rendering issues. To set it up, open the GPU driver manager inside Eden. From here, you can select the driver you want to use. Once applied, restart the emulator to make sure the changes take effect. Keep in mind that results vary depending on your device and the game you're playing. So don't be afraid to test different drivers until you find the best match for your setup. For me the Mr. Purple T20 INA is the most stable for my device. And also the old T19 I highly recommend it to try. Now for the advanced settings you need to understand that this setting is the only working fine based on my experience. If you have settings better than mine please let me know in the comments.
Now let's talk about how to install DLC in Eden Emulator. First, make sure you already have your base game installed and working. DLC files usually come in an SP format. Step 1. Open Eden and go to your game library. Step 2. Tap and hold the game you want to add DLC to. Step 3. Select Install Add-ons or DLC. Step 4. Locate your NSP DLC file and install it. Once done, restart the game and check the content in the in-game menu. If installed correctly, you should see the new DLC features unlocked. Reminder, only use NSP files for DLC XCI won't work for this feature. And that's the complete setup of Eden Emulator on Android. I hope this guide helped you get started smoothly. If you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more emulator tips and game tests. See you on the next one, and happy gaming!